After the last video on my 3D project of getting the character to move up and down correctly on slopes, I figured I might as well do it in 2D now. So right here, once again, I'll uncomment this code, which uh, gets it to work, and I'll show you my project. So just with the move and slide function basically by itself, uh, the character does not move up and down slopes. And I'm, I am passing an angle of 70 degrees already, and yeah. So, yeah, see, like you have to jump up the slope and it, it's really weird how it works. I will uncomment the code. And so, but first off, I get the current velocity from the move inside function. You don't really need to do that, but I'm just doing it just to show you the speed that you can move up the slope. And then pass in the velocity, the vector 2 dot up, which is a normal. And I pass in true for the stop on slopes parameter. And then I pass in a 4 after that for uh, the max slides and then I pass in 70 degrees which is the max slope angle. So right here I get the number of slides and if it's greater than zero I pass it into this function and after that I check each slide or each collision and then I'm going to use that for the normal. Next we check if the character is on the floor kind of self-explanatory. If the touch.normal.y is less than one which means that the character is not on flat ground anymore and uh, if the character is moving, we also have to check that. So basically, if uh, the character is on the floor, if they're not on flat ground and they're moving, then this will be true. Then we'll pass this in, and the velocity.y is equal to touch.normal.y. So that's what you want to do, and this allows you to move up, um, move up and down slopes just fine. Okay, so right here, I will show it with this code. You could correctly move up and down slopes just like in the 3D game. And once again, as you can see, speed down here, where my mouse is, like um, you move at 500, and when you go up the slope, you move at about 355. Yeah, so you move uh, slower up the slope, which is actually still correct. But you could, uh, you could really like, I think you could still change this a little bit better. If you want to give him a little bit more Y velocity, he'll probably go the same exact speed if you really fiddle around with it. So yeah. So this is a pretty nice solution, pretty nifty, quick solution. I'm sure there may be a better one out there, but I don't know. I think this one's fine because it's very simple, very straightforward, and yeah, now I just fell off the whole entire world. Okay, so that was a very simple project, and I hope that this helped out. Okay, I almost forgot to show this, but uh, it doesn't slide when you don't move either. So look, he stays in the same spot, he's just fine. I didn't get the animations all worked out yet, but yeah, look at that. He's just staying right there, right on that slope. Hell yeah! Okay. So that's it for this video. Have a great day.